Hindu. Shrikant, Michael Shoppers. The way we shop, we'd soon be poppers. That ain't stopping us from shopping and living. But this is the season for some giving. Today our task is to buy each other gifts for the super shopper party this Christmas. You know the first and last time I ever decorated a Christmas tree was when I was in class 6. I had a plant in my garden which was pretty much the right size. So I decorated it with streamers and balloons and what not. But that was just for one year. The next year, my plants grew taller than me. After all these years, I'm going to be decorating a Christmas tree once again, this time at Sarah's house. So I'm here to pick up some extra deco for her tree. Trinity Christmas World. The name says it all. It's near Fountain Plaza in Egmore and that is my pit stop before heading to Sarah's. Trinity World is about two years old. Last year we have put up in Ananagar. This year we are in Egmore. Uh, it's put up next to Fountain Plaza. Uh, this is a Christmas, Christmas business which we allow it in only in the Christmas season. And we are open from 10 to 10 and like uh, we have more footfall in the evening. Uh, compared to last year, people are looking for pre-decorated trees this year. Sarah has been collecting Christmas decor for a really long time now. And I'm sure she has most of these bells and wall hangings. I have to find something novel. After my early experience with the plant that grew, I couldn't help but notice Trinity's collection of artificial evergreens. Trinity has Christmas trees ranging from size 2 feet to 10 feet. You can pick between the plain trees, which are so much more fun to decorate, or you can be lazy and opt for these pre-decorated ones which have pines and berries but otherwise if you're waiting for white Christmas then they have a white Christmas tree which is the closest Chennai can get to snow and if you're looking to spread some Christmas cheer at your workplace then these cute little tabletop trees will do the trick The decor on your tree depends on the size of your tree and it is advisable to stick to small sizes. This way you can add more elements to your lovely Christmas tree. Christmas to me is synonymous with those stars people hang outside their houses and growing up I would wait every year to see what kind of star my neighbour put out. Sometimes they had lights in it, sometimes it had 8 edges instead of 5 and at certain times they had about 10 or 12 edges. And then I would look at it in wonder and just hope and wish for a special star of my own. At Trinity, they have stars with 5, 7 and even 17 edges. All replicas of the star that shined bright the night baby Jesus was born. Every Christmas tree has to have a star on top and I'm positive Sarah's does too. The Christmas tree, the holly, the mistletoe and the rosemary. All these are evergreens and these are displayed during the Christmas season because they are signs of upcoming spring. Now have you heard that interesting tradition related to mistletoe? Well, a guy or a young man is allowed to kiss a girl when they're standing beneath a mistletoe. So here we have a wreath that has mistletoes and pines and rosemaries and just about everything. So you can either hang this on the wall or hang it from a roof, let's say depending on your intentions. Tiny things that can 
go up your tree can't be ignored. They have packets of small drums, bells and colored balls, beaded and otherwise. I'm looking for stockings and all I can find are shoes. Where are all the stockings? Sold out ma'am. Well, it's Christmas season and everybody is out there shopping. So my tip to last minute shoppers, don't leave anything for the last minute because chances are that you might have to settle down for what is available. So the early bird in this case might just take the stockings away. If you have a larger area to decorate, then these huge balls and the four-in-one bells are good options. Streamers on your tree can add a splash of color and they have streamers made with beads as well. Basically, we, we were here because uh, we were driving and we were looking out at buying uh, Christmas decorations and um, my friend and myself, we are coming from Bounce Style uh, Lounge and uh, we also have other outlets which we are looking at decorating because Bounce, we normally get somebody to do it. But uh, we do have outlets which go by the name of Cut It Out and uh, we are planning to do it ourselves with the team and that's why we had come here to see what we could get. Being a new store is why we selected to step in and check out what it is. Because normally other stores which we go, we get the same thing. So we want to see if we get something different. The best part about Christmas? The gifts. Well, in the West they have this tradition of leaving the gifts for one another beneath the Christmas tree. Or sometimes they even hang them on Christmas trees. And this tiny miniature gift box replicas can be perfect props for your tree. Do you think Sarah has this? Will this be an extra addition? If you are looking for something brighter and less Christmassy, then maybe you can pick this rose ball with LED lights. They will look wonderful just hanging from the middle of your room. And finally, I've got into the Christmas spirit. And how could I forget the crib? With baby Jesus and the shepherds and the sheep, Mother Mary and St. Joseph of course. I think this would be the perfect gift for Sarah. Now the only question is do I pick this one or this one? What do you think? <laughs>